My first guest tonight was the breakout star of Girls Trip. Now she's an Emmy winner, the star of the new film Night School. Please welcome back to the Late Show, Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> It's such a good time with you when you're here last time. Yes, we did. I like this beard you got going on. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Really, really? Thank we you We need very to much. put you on Facebook on this thing called Beard Gang. <laughs> beard Gang? Beard Gang, yeah. What's Beard Gang? It's a bunch of sexy men in beards and sweatpants. <laughs> really? Yes. Are the sweatpants sexy, too, or is it unsexy to balance out how sexy the beard no, is? No, the beard... The, beard, the sweatpants are sexy. See, sweatpants are man lingerie, basically. Man, I, don't, I don't own a pair of sweatpants. Well, maybe I'll send you some. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you very I'm much. I'm sure your wife will appreciate it. Yes. She'll like the sweatpants more than the beard, because she wants this gone. Why? Uh, Is it rough? It's scratchy. May I touch it? You may. You may. It, it, you should condition it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, keep, I'll keep that in mind. Put some coconut oil in it. I will. I'll put some coconut yeah, oil coconut in it. Yeah, coconut oil in it before you go to bed at night. It'll All right. soften it up. And maybe a little scarf and tie it up here to keep it <laughs> Yeah! Nice. That's a sexy look. Yeah, that's, that's sexy. That's a real sexy that's look, right? That's gang etiquette. <laughs> Well, first of all, what a rocket ride. You were already having an amazing year last year. Now you've, 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 you've uh, won an Emmy for hosting SNL. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Is that... You. First Emmys? First Emmys. First Emmys and first win at an Emmys? First Emmys and first win at an Emmys. And what was it? Was it what you expected? Was it a, was it a fun night? Did you like it the was, glamour it, and all it that? It was a fun night. It was great hanging out with, like, mm -hmm. Angela Bassett and Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. And then my favorite part of the night, though, is when they were announcing your name and how the audience was going bananas. <laughs> and I was like, did he pay these people for this? I did. I did. I was I like, did, I want actually. people to scream for me like that one day. <laughs> There you go. Y'all better... Y'all better stop. Y'all better stop before I run for president. Y'all better... Please. Please do. <laughs> do you, uh, 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 did you, like, uh, did you uh, get to meet people? Because it's also nice to run into people like, oh, because you're, you're, you're famous, but there's so many other famous people yes. we haven't met who you like. like I, I got can't... to meet Henry Winkler, who is, like... The best. The best. Someone I have wanted to meet for years. I remember watching him on Happy Days, sucking mm -hmm. my thumb, like, I wish I could date the Fonz. And then there he was. There he is. I bet you could. I bet you could. <laughs> there's an age difference, but I bet he'd go for it. I, I, like, I like my men grown. I like my men grown, don't <laughs> All right. Yeah, there you go. Now, <laughs> I did not see you there, though. Where were you sitting? I didn't I see was the... sitting in the second row. Where were you sitting? I was sitting in the fifth row. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> next time, come over and say hi to me and my wife. I'd love, I love, love her to meet oh, you. Oh, I saw your wife. You saw my, you saw my wife, I but not me. I saw your wife. I didn't see you. What was going on? Why didn't you see me? Where, where was she? She was talking to some guy. I think it's David Harbour. I think it's David Harbour from Stranger <laughs> Things. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it was you and I just didn't recognize you. Because <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> well, you're so busy. You've got three movies coming out in the next three months. You've got Night School, which yes. we're talking about tonight. Yep. You have The Oath. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got nobody's fool. How do you decide? What's your like? How do you decide what you're gonna do? Well, my goal is to do 50 movies by the time I'm 50, right? So. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you gotta keep the now, pace up. They're not all gonna be great movies, but. But they're all gonna be movies. They're all gonna be movies, and the thing that makes me decide, okay, I'll do this movie, is does it resonate with my spirit? Does it make me laugh? Does it make me feel something? So, and that's how I pick. Well, you're so damn busy doing it because, again, that's probably working constantly for the year to do three movies in a year because it takes about three nah, months. That's like six days. Really? 
up and out. Know your lines, one take, that's it. Bam! What do you do? do you, have you ever had to give up anything in your personal life? Because a lot of times when people first get on the rocket ride, everything has to go except the work. Well, the, I've kept up with most everything, but I haven't been dating. So, I mean, my, my relationships, my personal relationships haven't been that good. So, but I have been keeping up with my uh, weighted blanket and my toys that I get off a of Groupon. <laughs> And batteries. Batteries are a girl's best friend. What is... I like how the band looking at me trying to figure out what is she talking about. I'll add myself to that list. Now, <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you about one of those things. What's a weighted blanket? A weighted blanket is a blanket that is, like, filled with, I think it's sand. I'm not sure what the material is, but it's, like, 25 pounds, right? And you could throw that over your legs, and then you spray a little cologne over, and you throw it over your arms, and it feel like a man is holding you. <laughs> and you snuggle up into that like this right here, right like that right there. <laughs> okay. And then All you right. open up your nightstand drawer, put your batteries in. Right. Right. And go to sleep. Exactly, to sleep. exactly, because you got your reading light. You're going to read yeah. a book before you go to bed. I do the same thing. Yep. I do and the same thing. And then you go thing. to sleep, and then Good you don't have you. to make them breakfast or talk you. to the weighted blanket or nothing. So no men. They're no men. You're not, you're not no yeah, men in your life I'm, right now. I'm waiting, though. You're waiting? I'm waiting with my right... weighted blanket. <laughs> So, night school, uh, what, what's it about? Is it educational? It is an educational movie, uh, but it's a comedy, and it's about second chances, you know. Um, nice. Just because you didn't make it through high school the first time doesn't mean you, don't, you can't try again. Mm -hmm. And the character I play is uh, uh, Carrie, and I'm a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kevin Hart's one of the stars of the movie. Sure. And he... <laughs> and he is a... Uh, Trying to get back into school. What kind of student were you? Would you want you as a student if you were the teacher? Um, I would love me as a student because uh, I was a funny kid. Um, I might not have had the best learning capability, but I was fun. I was a um, funny kid too, which is why they didn't want me as a student. Yeah, but I always, you know, put my best foot forward, try to make the teacher laugh first, then the rest of the students. Oh, okay. And that's how you get good grades. <laughs> I understand you had imaginary friends to a very mature age. Yeah, I had imaginary friends until I was, like, in 10th grade. Um, that was my way of making other, like, real friends. Like, I had this bird that I, um... I used to piss this one teacher off. She did not like me that much, because I had this imaginary bird, and I called it Cracker, and I'd be like, Cracker want a Polly, and I would break crackers up on my shoulder to give... Because the Polly so you was... you would be the... breaking real crackers up to a fake bird. Yeah. <laughs> Name that cracker. wasn't there, uh-huh. And then when we would take tests, and so, because I was a professional cheater, um, <laughs> I would be like, what's the answer to number seven, Cracker? And they'd be like, get out of here, you're being racist. I'm like, no, I'm talking to my bird. <laughs> this is my bird. Well, we have, a, we have a clip here of you and Kevin Hart. Uh, uh, what, what's going on here? You guys are in, a, uh, 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 like, a wrestling ring for some reason. Yeah, yeah, well, some people learn, you know, you know, audio, like, audio, believe, believe, uh, yeah. Verbally, yes, sure. You by words. Other people learn visually. Yes. And some people need to learn physically. <laughs> Jim. How you feeling today, Teddy? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling fine. What's the capital of Belgium? Uh, waffles. What? Fries! <laughs> 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 don't you run from me? Don't you run me? So little. Tough. You look very. You look very comfortable in the ring there. Uh, yeah, I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. Do you do your own stunts? Uh, I try to do my own stunts as much as possible, uh, but the studio gets afraid because I get real physical. <laughs> and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is fragile. He is. Yes. He is quite fragile. Now, what's he like in the ring? Is he? Can he? Can he hold his own? He can hold his own, but not. He's nothing compared to me. <laughs> We, I think we talked about this before. Uh, he, you, you were indebted to him because he gave you three hundred dollars uh, early on in your career. Right, right. To sort right. of sustain you. Right. Where does that stand right now? Um, well, I have 
tried to pay him back multiple times, and then every time he slips money back to me some kind of way, and then just recently... So wait a second, so you, like, give him $300 in cash? Yeah, I tried to give him $300 in cash and be like, I don't want it, I don't want it, and then uh, just not too long ago, I just threw the money at him in front of camera, and that way, kind of like he was a dancer in the club. I, was like, I made it rain on him. And then, um, and it was on camera, so bam, that's that. We done, we even. And then he slipped it back into a wig cap I had in my backpack. <laughs> so then I put the money in some baby shoes that was, um, you know, his size. And, um... Uh-huh. Gave him the shoes, uh -huh. like, here you go. Yeah. And then um, just recently, uh, I, found, I saw a video where he put the money, he went down to uh, Times Square, and where our billboard is, and he taped the money to my mouth, like, <laughs> trying to tell me to be quiet. But I didn't get the money in hand. Mm -hmm. So then last night, when I saw the video, I went ahead and I told him his mic pack was loose, and I stuffed the money in, his, in the back of his pants. So he got that money back, and I'm done. It's done. <laughs> okay, Kevin. It's settled. It's settled. Well, please come back many times. I will, I will. Night School opens next Friday. Tiffany Haddish, everybody.